Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. Okay, so there you are. You're using your Windows computer and you download a file from your web browser. Uh, you have it configured so that when you download files from your browser, it saves them on the desktop, right? So you download the big file. It's done. The browser says, okay, I'm done downloading. You go to your desktop. The file's not there. So you click the desktop, you tap the F5 key to refresh the desktop, boom, your file shows up. So you go, right, but I don't want the file in the desktop, I want to copy it into another folder. So you open up Explorer, you go to some folder, and you right click and you say new folder. Now normally what happens is like you get a new folder created and it automatically highlights it so you can instantly start typing a name for the folder. But instead what happens is nothing. So again, in Explorer, you click, you tap F5 it refreshes, you scroll up and down and you go, ah, there's my new folder. Why the heck didn't it let me rename it automatically? So you click it, you rename it, you tap enter. It doesn't update. So you tap F5 again, it refreshes and you're like, what the heck is going on? So finally, you right click and you drag and drop to move the file from the desktop into the new folder you just created and the little progress bar, you know, appears and it, and it finishes and you go, what the heck? So you look at the desktop, the file is still there. You look at the folder, the file is not there where it's supposed to be. You just moved it there. So you click the desktop, you tap F5, file disappears. You click your new folder, you tap F5, file finally appears. What the heck is going on here? This is what is known as the uh, desktop or Windows Explorer folder will not auto refresh bug. And this bug has been around since at least Windows 7, possibly earlier. Uh, it's been found on Windows Server 2019. It's been around for years and years. Many people have complained about it. Microsoft supposedly has fixed this particular bug several times, and it's still around. I recently had this exact problem on my desktop computer. So uh, how do you fix this? Well, there are a lot of fixes out there, and many of them involve, like, searching your registry and introducing a registry key and then like creating like something called like a, a new a new string value called don't refresh and blah 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 none of that works so uh there is one solution that works 90 percent of the time and there are two other solutions to try if that one doesn't work so what you're going to do is you're going to open up explorer that not not Internet Explorer, Windows Explorer, the File Explorer, for those of you who've been computing for a long time. You open up Explorer, and most likely what you're going to notice is if you go over here and look in the quick access, uh, you've got downloads, documents, pictures. Ah, what's, what's this Bigfoot? Hmm. That is my NAS, my network attached storage. That's a, it's a Synology disk station. Uh, that's, you know, sometimes it might be like a, like a media streaming gizmo for you. Whatever it is, it's some network device. So all you're going to do to solve this problem is you're going to right click your network share. It has to be something that's on a network somewhere. You right click and you say unpin from quick access. Right, there you go. Then what you're going to do is you're going to close Explorer. You're going to right click the start button and click task manager. Now, what you have to do here in order to find Explorer, the easy way is scroll way down to, you may have to click once to say view advanced, by the way. Uh, I'm always looking at this, so I don't have to do that. Once you do that, you scroll way the heck down to the bottom and you will see Windows Explorer. And what you're going to do is right click and choose restart. That's it. Once you do that and you open up Explorer, you will discover that you no longer have this problem and Bob's your uncle. So the problem is, the problem seems to be, and Microsoft has kind of confirmed this, but kind of not. The problem seems to be that if you have any kind of network share uh, pinned to quick access specifically, you have a problem. Uh, this bug doesn't happen all the time. I have a, a, a colleague who sits right next to me. He's got the exact same drive pinned quick access. Never had this problem. Multiple versions of Windows 10, multiple versions of Windows 11. He's never had it. I have had it for close to a year, and it's been driving me nuts. It comes and goes, blah, blah, blah. Since I have unpinned my NAS, well, since I unpinned that network share from quick access, the problem has not come back. Um, now, it's not map network drive. You can have a, a, a network drive, like a, a shared folder via Samba. You can have that mapped 
and show up and explore, and this bug will not happen. At least I've never seen that happen before, and I've never heard anyone else say that it happens. But if you have any kind of network share pinned to quick access, you're going to have this issue. But there's another thing. If that doesn't work, there's another thing to consider, and that is uh, these so-called cloud you know, file sharing backup services, such as iCloud, uh, OneDrive, Microsoft's own OneDrive. If you have OneDrive showing up in Explorer, uh, the second thing you should try is to disable OneDrive, restart your computer to make sure that OneDrive is not doing anything, and then see if the bug persists. You can also go into, uh, well, usually I still go into Control Panel, and I uninstall OneDrive. That's one of the first things I do, because I hate OneDrive. But uh, disable or even completely uninstall OneDrive, see if that doesn't make the issue go away. Uh, I have read at least one case where this also happened with iCloud, uh, possibly like Dropbox, Google Drive, anything that is uh, on the network, so to speak, a network drive, uh, a network share, uh, you know, network backup, blah, blah, blah. OneDrive, iCloud, Google Drive, any, any of those. If it puts an icon in Explorer, essentially, it can futz with Explorer, and then you have this auto-refresh bug. So try disabling those, those cloud backup services. If you do disable a cloud backup and you find that it fixes your problem, and you go, great, well, what am I going to use for my backup now? Uh, watch this video. It's about uh, Robo Backup. It's my own backup scheme. made that video a year or two ago, and I've been using it ever since. Works like a charm. Doesn't cause any problems. So if that doesn't work, then there's one last thing to try. So what you're going to do is you're going to, you know, come down here and you're, you're going to look in your, your system tray and you, you got like stuff running here, you know. You're like, ah, blah, 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 what, what is all this, this stuff, these memory resident things running? One of those could be causing a problem. Now, it, it's anything that like if you, you right-click a file in this right-click menu, you've, you've got all these options. Any software you install on here that puts an extra icon in here, like like ClipChamp, for example, like you don't have to have that. Or if you click Show More Options, and you see Play with CyberLink Power DVD, CyberLink could be causing this issue. Edit with Notepad plus plus, that could be Notepad plus plus could be causing the issue. File Converter, that could be causing the issue. Anything you see in these right-click menus is a piece of software that could be futzing with with Windows Explorer and causing the issue. So you may want to uninstall or disable those if possible. Reboot. Uh, or at least restart Explorer, like I showed you in the Task Manager, see if that doesn't fix it. If you can't find it, then what you can do is you can click Start, and type Startup, and then select Startup Apps, and this is actually going to show you not all, but many of these apps that run at Startup. Uh, for example, a Power DVD is running at Startup, I don't need that, I'm going to disable that, just because. So you can try disabling some of these here, reboot, and see if the problem goes away. And there you have it. Right, so there you go. That is how you fix the Windows Explorer slash desktop won't auto refresh bug. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.